Hey guys and here we are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with something really really awesome for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now we have checked a few cases for the Raspberry Pi here on the channel especially the original one which it has a few problems in terms of temperature then we saw uh, one with a active fan uh, for cooling but this one is just just awesome this it blows out of the charge first of all it looks like a mac pro and i know that some of you guys are not fans of mac pro and although i don't have none here on my setup i actually enjoy the design i don't need the xeon cpus and whatnot but i do enjoy the design and i love the design right over here so a huge thumbs up to Tony the Salvo, which is the person responsible for the design, the production, and so on. This is not built on any factory, this is built on his laboratory. So regardless if you are going to purchase or not, I would really appreciate and will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the website, the way that it produces. So even if you don't purchase it, at least go and check it for yourself. I do believe that his mission is awesome and right over here after testing it out i do believe that it's worth spreading the word this is the kind of value that we should not only the product itself but what is behind the product so tony a huge huge thumbs up right over there because it has a great design but not only the design in terms of temperatures we are going to see in just a few moments that works awesome and blows anything out of the water that we have seen so far So let's take a look at the first generation box that we did purchase back with the Raspberry Pi and nothing wrong with it. I really enjoy the design, simple, red and white, which I do love the colors, but in terms of temperatures, that's where the problem starts back then I did share with you guys. And today I did another test. I did a five minute stress test on every case. And what I can share right now is that regardless of the values, have in mind that when you are using the Raspberry Pi, like I do with Plex servers and Home Assistant servers and a few more servers and uh, taxing it with a lot more stuff, it will not get as taxed like we do with this stress test, which gets all the CPUs, all the RAM and whatnot to the maximum. So this is an extreme test to see the capabilities of the cases now the case that we saw at the beginning which is the original one doing this stress test for five minutes uh, with no surprises really easily got up to 74 uh, degrees celsius which is not that great now after 70 degrees celsius it's not good for any components and although the cpu will handle soon enough it will start thermal throttle to get the CPU on a clock uh, that it's uh, comfortable and that will allow the temperature to lower but at the cost of the performance. So if you are using your Raspberry Pi with servers like Plex, Ambi and so on and so forth, this is something that will happen and we have seen in the past. Now moving to a case with active cooling with a fan which is actually really nice and I've been using it for quite some time not the same as this but uh, in terms of results i was able to get roughly 58 degrees celsius on five minutes test so it's not bad and it's something that we can totally use it although it has that small sound of the fan it is usable now i was curious to see because this uh, before i started my test i was thinking well this is a huge dissipator this is the cooler and that is it uh, if your room temperature is colder you will get colder temperatures if your room is very warm then you will not get as cold temperatures so my test i forgot to say on the first two cases my room temperature was 26 degrees celsius and when i tested the uh, Raspberry Pi case uh, from Tony De Salvo, I was with 27.7, so one degree more. And the test, I got 45 degrees Celsius maximum. So as you can see, the difference is just 
huge huge really so what i did i was not satisfied and i thought well if it gets 45 degrees celsius on this test the reality is that it will perform a lot better than any other case that we have seen so far on a regular usage which is just awesome so great but what if i do a really intensive stress test and have in mind that i don't do this stress test with the original case because it's risky and i don't do it even with the active cooling but I did run it for one hour, everything maxed out and the maximum temperature that I got was 68 degrees. And this just means one thing, that if it can run for one hour on 68 degrees, it will run for two, it will run for a full day without any issues at all. And this is just beautiful to see because the engineering and the everything behind this, the design and the thoughts is actually in reality in practical way it works and it will not go uh, beyond the temperature that will get this comfortable and, uh, 68 it's close to the 70s that i was talking but it, once again it's a real cruel test for any machine and the dissipator did a great job in a warm environment if i had my ac turned on and i could uh, lower to 20 degrees then probably instead of 68 I would get roughly 60, 61, something like that, which is just, just awesome. So once again, guys, I would invite you to check out the link down below, even if you don't want to purchase. I do believe that it has a great value. Tony, great job that you did right over here. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual and very appreciated thumbs right over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.